Hello, how are you? Going to do a Taurus reading? Absolutely. Going to be doing a Taurus reading. See what's going on with you guys. I hope you're doing well on this Monday. Yeah. Keep on going. Keep a stiff upper lip. Do the best you can. Remain as positive as you can. And get through this day. Everything's going to be all right. Taurus. Taurus. Come on. What do you have to say? I am I, Spirit. Okay, dear ones, let's take a look. Taurus, the sun, the happiest card of the tarot deck. The devil in reverse. The hermit in reverse. Five of cups in reverse. Seven of cups in reverse. Strength. Mm, two of cups. Come on, what are we doing? Knight of wands in reverse. And the Ten of Swords. Betrayal. Death at the bottom of this deck. It's going to, at Death in Reverse, is going to inform how we look at these cards in their position. Yes, 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 yes. Taurus, what is the dealio? please. Come on. There you go. So the placement is kind of interesting. We have the positive looking up to the sky, counting your blessings right next to petty jealousies. Um, someone wanting to improve who they are and yet not being allowed that time to gain that inner perspective. Options are not really options, they're just variables. It's going to take all the strength to understand this betrayal. Knight of Wands in reverse. Knight of Wands has something important to say. It's a message that was given to them, but they are lost. They are lost in space. The Two of Cups is here. Oi. It's an alphabet soup of emotion. Let's begin with the sun. Strength again. Yes, maintain your optimism. Torian, Hierophant, Hierophant, and communication is on the way. The sun. It's going to take a lot of strength for you to shake it off and um, blow your nose when you must put some cold water on your face and carry on. Keep that optimism. It is a saving grace, that optimism. If you want to make the devil happy, be upset because then the devil is just, you know, roaring, just so happy when, when you're in pain. Put some water on your face, carry on. Use your strength. You are the Hierophant. Within you stands all of the, the answers to the questions that people can bring to you. Remember who you are. You're the Hierophant. You're the energy of the beautiful Empress. Communication, Eight of Wands, is on the way. These are Sometimes I look at them and I feel like there are eight little Valentines coming your way. No, I think that these are more direct, more direct. Um, I don't want to say less 
Um, do you know how lovely a Valentine is? Kind of fun, kind of you know, cartoonish. Not that. That's not that. This is more. Um, are you going to be here? Because I'm interested in speaking to you. Something like that. Almost like if you didn't know your person, they would sound gruff, a little, a little Aries. The devil in reverse because he's been tamed. He's been tamed because there are entities within this connection who have made it their business to complicate this already complicated connection. There are petty jealousies. There are petty pettiness. It's, it's very lo low level energy. It doesn't belong here in this energy, but um, that's why they're being tamed. You know what a, a cake saver is. It's a great, it's a large glass dome and you put it over a cake to keep it fresh. There's been a cake saver put over that devil. They're just kind of running around in little circles. They run around in circles till they're very, very dizzy and they still scream, I'm busy, Cinderella. <sighs> they really did their best to get that three of, of swords. Makes you not want to think that there's something else coming, but there is. Sneaky Pete is here. Occasionally you're going to find someone. Oh, I feel like this is a, a, I don't come for me. It's like an immature, in, immature, like a, in, I'm going to do something special just to see if you see me. You know, the, they might say something that they know that's going to perturb you just to see the look on your you know, the look on your face, what is their expression going to be? And when they see that expression, they know, oh yeah, they still dig me, you see? But you know, we, we don't need that kind of energy, but do mm, with what we have. Someone is trying their best to go into hermit energy, but they don't, they need the resources. They need the resources to do this correctly. There's been some gossip going on. Um, Juggling and Sneaky Pete. See, this is, if you're wondering why this connection sometimes is complicated, more complicated than it needs to be, if you're wondering sometimes why doesn't, what could naturally be an easy meet up uh, and conversation turns into, um, well, a misconnection. It's because of these lateral energies. I don't feel like they are powerful or, or malevolent. Or they have any kind of, um, they can't, they can't dissuade this connection. This connection is way too strong for them. I think they are in awe of this connection and jealous. <laughs> they wish they had to themselves. Um, how far, how far they will go to realize this, this three of swords. The three of swords is definitely an echo mode. Do you know what I mean by echo mode? It is um, an echo of something that had occurred before. It is not present. It is it's the echo. It's the... Um, mm, I don't know that one. That was a strange confirmation. Um, it was, it was, um, I'm not even sure if it was between, I don't think it has anything to do with you and your person. I think it has to do with an ancillary energy. I've said this in a, in a past reading, I'm going to say it again. Misery doesn't love company. Misery demands company. And the idea is if they can't be happy, then you and your person can't be happy either. It's night. Nice. It's not nice, but it's also not strong. You are strong. The two of you are together are going to be fine because you are the two of cups. Looking at the, the five of cups in reverse, not really think of, um, 
Well, how did these three cups get tipped over? I don't know. It, it couldn't be that my foot, you know, accidentally kicked them over. Oh no, I wouldn't do that unless I didn't know what I was doing. Aries. Two of Cups, above the Two of Cups. And the Devil on first again. Someone is being a bully. Someone, you see, you know, I love you, Aries. I really do. But this card in this reading, in this spread, um, points out that at times the Emperor can be a bully. He can definitely say, it's my way or the highway, or you do you shall not pass. Something like that. Very, very strict. Very patriarchal. It's um, this energy has no problem with repeating how strong they are and how much power they are. This could be a problem because this energy can um, not impede, but kind of complicate this connection. And to remind us that there are ancillary ent energies around, the devil is in reverse again, saying, oh, hey, don't forget about me. No, we didn't forget about you. We're just not impressed. We're not impressed. We're not going to be moved. Because our two of cups comes back again. And we do have that strength. Let's go into the seven of cups in reverse. Page of wands. The sun. Thank you very much. In the middle of this reading, we needed to see you. The sun is our optimism, by the way. You know that any song, the sun will come out tomorrow, and then and then things will be seen. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. The sun is coming out. It's going to be a bright, sunshiny day. No more um, ruining the day that I was offered something and didn't take it. So if the Knight of Wands has a message from your person, they're trying to bring it to you. Here is the message. As your person is writing out this message, it doesn't something won't sound right and they'll erase it. Finally, they they scripted something out and they said, okay, here, Knight of Wands, take this message to my beloved. And um, it's just more. It's just more of, of, I'm not sure how to get there. How am I going to get there? You'll get there. You'll get there. You're going to get help. You're going to get help. It, 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 this is almost like I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I'm going to keep the sun right here, though, in the middle of this reading. It has to remind us. I'll tell you like this, Taurus. Sometimes it feels with this connection. It, it's a beautiful, divine connection. But it's like any type of sling or arrow that a lesser entity could shoot at it, it does. It does. Remain your remain strength. Uh, remind yourself who you are, Empress. The Chariot. No longer Nine of Swords. Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. Strength. You know, the, the Chariot, it's funny. There aren't any reins on this Chariot, is there? The Sphinx is moving because of the sheer will. The sheer will of the charioteer is moving those Sphinx forward, prompting them to move me. Here we had at least one of you, if not both of you, I'm going to say both of you, up in your heads at night worrying how, when, why, do they, will they, no, no longer, no longer. You know everything's going to be all right. You have to know in your heart of hearts. Don't don't play games with your mind. Ace of Wands is here to light this torch and show you. It, when you're in a dark room and the dark room is separated by a door and on the other side, the door leads to a room that is very bright, 
very bright. So you have one room is dark and another room is bright and there's a door. When you open that door, are you afraid that the darkness is going to flood into the light and dim the light never happens. The light always comes into the dark room and lights it up. That, that uh, flame is going to be that. It's going to light up all of the darkness and show what's been hiding in the corners. Nothing to be afraid of. They should be afraid because when you turn on the light, the cockroaches run. They don't say, hey, pass the sun tan lotion. They run. We have the two of cups. Never forget the, the strength. When, when two of you, two or more of you are gathered in his name, there is love. Never forget the strength of that. And the four of wands. The great way, the great bones that, that for, not even a tower event can disrupt these great bones. No longer in the drama of the mind. No longer worried. Piscean energy. There may be some things unfolding yet, but let it be. Let it be. That's natural. So here we have our hapless knight of wands in reverse. At least he's still on his horse, bringing message of the star, Aquarian energy, the hangman in reverse, and the king of wands. The king of wands will help with this direction. Yeah. You're my hope, my wish, when I wish upon a star. I saw, I saw everything else. I saw everything, anything that I didn't understand with a new perception perspective but now I know what I see is what I want the king of wands large and in charge he is leadership he will stand up and point the direction with that wand exactly what we need now here the ten of swords betrayal having to be in that defensive posture the beautiful Queen of Cups, counting all of the, the tears that have been shed. And death in reverse. We're waiting. We're waiting for death to, to come upright, to have that and new life begin. So the betrayal did occur. Uh, it is not a killer, though. These wounds are going to be healing. There was a time where the fence was all you know, king of the hill, you're not going to take my position. Now it's not even a question. I'm not even worried about those who are trying to usurp me. The queen of cups, she's here just to help regulate all of these extra emotions. Thank goodness. And then again, the death in reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. Still waiting You see, if you close the, if you ended the, the book, if you have ended the chapter with this hurricane going on, it wouldn't make sense. It would be too, huh? You need, it needs a, a blueprint. It needs to make more logical sense. Whereas our, we need the, our king of swords. And if that wasn't confirmation enough, this death, in reverse also frames the energy we need to be able to put a concrete period at the end of this sentence and be able to either turn the page or close the book and open a new book Taurus it's always exciting it's always a surprise so keep a stiff upper lip and we'll talk to you soon Bye-bye.